with 36 points. Hello, European film lovers. Welcome to the 2020 IFA Young Audience Award. Today, teens in 32 countries will choose between three competing films. My Brother Chases Dinosaurs by Stefano Cipani, My Extraordinary Summer with Tess by Steven Wouterloot, and Rocka Changes the World by Katja Benrath. This year, it is a very special edition because you're probably all watching this from your couch at home. We're all separated now, but we're all united by the films, by the award. We're all together in our homes. In this time, we need to stay creative and connected. Normally, I'd be standing in a studio in Erfurt, Germany, but due to the corona, I'm at home as well. And I made a studio of myself, actually. I'll show you how it looks. <laughs> Welcome to my DIY studio. Step one, convince your parents to help you a lot. Step two, get your sister as a grip. Step three, get an awesome backstage online team. Step four, stand in front of the camera. This year, we don't have a big live audience to applaud, but I do have my family here. Family applause! <laughs> <laughs> I know everyone has already watched the films and most of you have voted, but for those who haven't yet, just a reminder, the voting platform closes in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, past the hour sharp, the voting will close. <laughs> then the calculations will be sent over to the computer in Erfurt, and within 15 minutes, we will know who the winner is. At 15 minute, 25 minutes past the hour sharp, we will know who the winner is of the 2020 IFA Young Audience Award. This year, we had a nomination committee as well. Five teams watched six films and then chose our three finalists. A big thank you to Eduardo from Italy, Luna from Vienna, Ranveig from Iceland, Stefan from Slovenia, and... Reluca from Romania. Thank you so much for choosing our films. Now let's have a talk with the director of IFA, Marion Döring. Hey Hello, Marion! Ivana. How are you? I'm very fine. I'm here with my guardian angel, the IFA statuette, which is already waiting to go on a nice trip to the winner <laughs> of uh, the IFA Young uh -huh. Audience Award. Great, so but your guardian a, angel is keeping you safe? It's keeping you safe, but we'll keep the winning director safe uh, very soon. I'm, I'm really <laughs> impressed about your uh, home, the images I just saw, how all your family <laughs> is involved and <laughs> all the balagan that uh, they you. have to, have to uh, live with. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs> Thank you. You've been put under a huge challenge. 32 countries were prepared with live audiences and juries, and suddenly everything changes. What was the experience transi transitioning from a full live audience to an online based? Well, it was quite a challenge, but on the other hand, um, it's great to know that Corona cannot keep us away from watching the films. So luckily we had this opportunity to watch the films, uh, to see, show the films online and, uh, and to keep uh, the big uh, pan-European jury. But of course, it would be much nicer if we could all sit together in the cinema and uh, watch the films together, discuss the films together. And I sincerely hope next year this will be the case again. And I'm really sad that also we cannot be uh, together today in Erfurt with the uh, nominated directors. Usually we have nice dinners and we really enjoy being mm. together. But still, online is not a bad option. I hope we'll be together next year too, but still, I'm very happy as well that we are able to do this right now. I think that award is what we have for the winner. Marion, toss it over here. <laughs> yes, but it doesn't travel like this, unfortunately. <laughs> One yeah, day it will be I possible. think we still have a few years until teleportation is invented. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marion, for this talk, and I'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Now let's have a talk with four members of the jury. We have Marta from Croatia, Naira from Ireland, Joschka from France, and Tomat from Bulgaria. 
Hey everyone! On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you all? <laughs> ten! <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> so you all watched the three films. Marta, what did you do to make your home feel more like a cinema? Uh, I uh, ate popcorns. Um, and I watch film on the TV because it's bigger. And I watched that in the evening uh, when uh, uh, it was dark. So it felt exactly like a movie theater. Awesome. Toma, how is the online experience so far? It's something new for me. I've never watched the YAA films online before. But it was really cool and I will watch the films in the next year and I hope they're even better than this year. <laughs> I hope they are too. But we had some pretty good films this year though too. <laughs> Yoshka, where was anyone watching the films with you? Uh, yes, uh, I watched the film uh, with my family. With your family? And did they enjoy it? Yes, uh, he loved it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And Naira, last year you were able to sit down together and debate about the films. This year you couldn't. How was that? Um, well, I had a Zoom call with some of the other jury members, so we got to kind of share some of our thoughts and ideas on the movies. So it was pretty much the same. Um, it, was, it wasn't any like more hard or anything. It was good. That's good. That's good. I really, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you guys so much for being here and I hope to see you next year. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> for those who still haven't voted, the voting platform is open for another two minutes. Let's refresh the lineup and watch some clips of the three nominated films. Rockers Leben ist... Anders. Ich bin sicher, du wirst dich in der Pflegefamilie wohlfühlen. Ganz genauso wenig dafür wie ich. Du bringst wirklich nur Unglück. Wer mich nicht kennt, wer mich nicht kennt, der ich bin in meinem ganzen Leben noch nie so ein Mädchen wie Rocker begegnet. Menschen fanden mich vaak raar, aber Tess war noch viel raarder. Moeder hat immer gesagt, dass ich keinen Vater nodig habe. Je kann je maar beter nicht zu viel an Menschen hechten. Ich muss mezelf trainen, um allein zu sein. Sorry, your son, maar jij bent dus wel gek. Stel je voor dat ik mijn vader nooit had gekend. Net als Tess. Spaar zoveel mogelijk herinneringen. Lui era più che speciale. Era un supereroe. La verità è che mi avete fatto credere che era un supereroe. Siete dei bugiardi. Tu mi avevi detto di avere solo due sorelle. Mio fratello. Lui è genialità, ingenuità al tempo stesso. Last year we got every country announcing their votes with a little video. This year everyone this year everyone voted individually. We didn't have the votes bundled country by country. But I've seen you taking part in my challenge, the hashtag YAA2020 challenge. I saw your videos and they were so cool, all of them. In 10 seconds, the voting closes. Everyone count with me. Five seconds left, come on, vote fast. One. The voting is closed. The family applause. <laughs> <laughs> now we hand it over to the machines in Erfurt and they will start calculating the votes. On the screen next to me, you will soon see three bars, each representing one of the films. For the next 15 minutes, the computers in Erfurt, in Erfurt will be calculating the results and you will see the bars moving. Let us wait for the bars. 
Hopefully they'll come on any second now. Exactly, there they are. So the bars will start moving and we'll know who the winner is, but the titles won't be shown and will all be kept in suspense. I'm curious to see what the bars look like at the end. <laughs> Coming up next, we have the director Katja Benrath and the young lead actress Luna Max Eine from Rocket Changes the World. Hi, Luna and Katja. How are you? Hi. 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 Good, thank you. Your film made me want to be 12 again and conquer the world. Katja, Rocket can fly a plane. She's in astronaut school and she has a heart of gold. What was the experience like working with kids? Um, the experience working with kids is always amazing because um, kids really know how to act because they they come from playing. So it's it's a lot of fun because they're not trying to control themselves. They just want to be and just want to to feel like the the persons they're acting like. They really want to have fun with the with the thing they're doing. So it's always a lot of fun. Uh. Great. So Luna, Katya says that kids always want to be the person that they're acting. Do you have some things in common with Roca? Yes, I think I also be brave and confident. And I always want to help the others and homeless people. I give them a little bit money so they can buy themselves mm. food or drinks. And yes, <laughs> that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, you have such a kind heart. Um, Katya, what was the most difficult scene to make? Oh, the most difficult scene to make was, um, and also a lot of fun was always working with the squirrel because the squirrel, they, they don't learn lines. They just do what they want to do. So if we needed the squirrel to do something, we couldn't teach them because they, they are not easy to be taught. So that was always very difficult and took a long time to, to make the squirrel do what they should do. So you're saying you used an actual squirrel, a real one, and it wasn't drawn? Of course, most of the times the squirrel is real and we had like a few of them. I think it was three who who were on screen most of the time. Um, there are a few scenes where this this squirrel isn't real, but most of the times it is real, and it was it was just amazing. They're the cutest animals ever. Mm, great. Okay, we actually have some questions from you guys from the YAA jury. Luna, I'll ask you a first question. Um. Yeah, from Heidija in Latvia. Did you feel like you needed to change a lot of a lot for the role or were you just yourself? Mm, I think sometimes um some people have to learn that um you don't can bully it's each other because um the bully people feel so bad and I think some people can um learn from Rocker. Mm. I think we can learn from Rocca as well. It's a really great character. Hmm. Can I say something about that? We have a that? question. Of course, Katya, go ahead. Um, because, you know, we choose Luna because she was a lot like Rocca. And because she's, she's very kind. She always tries to make people laugh. She always um, wants, to, wants people to be treated equally and fair. So... Um, that is a big thing that um, Luna has in common with Rocca. And there was another thing she didn't have in common with Rocca. She didn't lose a parent because Rocca lost a parent mm -hmm. and um, has to deal with, with that as well. And Luna has no experience with that. So that's what she had to work on. How, how could it feel to, to have an experience that is very sad and I didn't experience myself? So that is something she didn't have in common with Rocca. But from her personality, she's a lot like Rocca. That's a really inspirational thing to say. And I'm really glad, Luna, you did a really great job on the film. Thank you so much, Katya and Luna, for being here. We'll have to cut it short, but I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Now let's welcome the director, Stefano Cipani, and young lead actor, Francesco Ghegi. Hi, Stefano and Francesco. 
Hi. Hi. Your film made me feel like I was a part of the family. Stefano, how did you find this story? Oh, thank you, Vanna. Um, I read the book two years ago and I fell in love with the book. I read it like in three hours and uh, I met uh, Giacomo. Once I know that the producer wanted to create a movie about uh, his story, so I met uh, Giacomo. And with Giacomo was uh, a great feeling right away. Uh, we started to plan uh, everything. I met his family. And uh, what I tried to do is to uh, give this image of this incredible family, which is very simple also, but it's very democratic and positive mm. and uh, kind of unique if you see the whole uh, society, how it's going on right now. And uh, so I fell in love and we started right away to write the script with Fabio Bonifaci, who is a very experienced screenwriter. And, and that's it. That's amazing. So the movie is actually based on a real family by a book written by the actual family. Ah, oh, that's, that's so cool. I love it. Francesco, did you go through the same path as Jack did of finding himself? My experience was different from Jago because uh, I don't have a little brother to play, to play with, but I love to have a little brother. I do have an older sister, so this is different, but it's the same because I love my family how much Giacomo loves his family. And, um, that, and then Stefano and Giacomo helped me a lot to get in the character. Oh, that's really good. I'm happy that it worked out eventually. Stefano, you have an amazing cast yeah. and I, love, I loved the character of Joe, Lorenzo. Was it fun for him being on set? I mean, uh, it was great for him, it was an amazing experience. Now, for example, he went to middle school and uh, all the older guys say hi to him. So it's pretty cool now in school. It's very popular. And it was an amazing experience for, uh, for him and for his family most, you know. Mm. Uh, so I really hope they enjoy the project, enjoy the experience. But most, I think, Lorenzo is a great actor. I mean, he was understanding everything what happened on set. He was uh, follow Francesco. He get a, like a real feeling of brotherhood. I mean, he really understood what being an actor means fully. Oh, that's amazing. And how the family of Lorenzo was on the set and the real family of Jack was on set. So you had a bunch of families <laughs> on set. I can only imagine how fun it was. Yeah. We actually have a few yeah, questions from, we have a few questions from a lot of countries, Serbia, Poland, Germany, but I don't think we have the time for that now. So I'll go ahead and say that the questions will be posted on the website of the YAA. I'll repeat it after the other interviews, but yeah, you can answer those then. Thank you so much for being here, Francesco and Stefano. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. From my extraordinary summer with Tess, we have the directors Steven Wouterlot and lead actors Josephine Arendsen and Sonny Koops van Utteren. Hi, Steven, Josephine and Sonny. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Steven, I have a question for you. What made you decide to film this book exactly? Because the film is based on a book. Yeah, it's based on a book uh, written by Anna Voltz. And I read this book five years ago and I immediately thought this can be a wonderful movie. It's very exciting and emotional and uh, funny. And I like the universal themes in it about family, about uh, holiday and falling in love. and. Uh, well, it's very touching, so I thought this must be a movie. That's true. The film made me basically question my whole existence. It was amazing to watch. Some uh, Sonny, <laughs> I called you by your character's name. Sonny, Sam <laughs> creates this program for himself to train being alone. Do you think this can be reality? Uh, yes, I think so, because uh, much ch children over the world, uh, they think 
yeah, I'm the last, last one in my family, so I'm going to be uh, the last one uh, that's alive. So I have to train uh, to be the last one. Mm. Stephen, what do you think? Do you think this can be reality too? Well, I'm not sure, but I think it's a thought that a lot of children and, and also older people have. Uh, like the... Um, um that you realize that there comes one day that you, well that you will lose your uh friends or family and you are um you will die yourself so i think it's a very heavy topic but i think uh well when i was young i was thinking about this topic already so i think it's, it's important to talk about it and it's very funny that this loneliness training maybe it's important for this time where everyone is at home. Some people are alone at home, like me here in Amsterdam. So uh, we also can practice now to be alone. So, yeah. That's true. I think it was executed very well, but I think the main thing was when the old man told him that he has to enjoy his life with his friends is a really good message to to keep in mind. So I really love that. Um, Josephine, Tess is a strong independent character she's determined and she makes choices really quickly and she's overall just a really strong girl do you feel like her in any way actually yes because it was it was really weird because um the clothes and everything of this is really like me so that was really weird uh yeah it was really weird but really fun so i didn't I play actually a character, but I can also be myself. So it was really weird, but I make not the weird decisions, uh, decisions to um, to my friends to to stay at, uh, at the at the yeah at home and things. So I think I'm a little bit farther than she is, but yeah, it was really weird. So yeah. So you didn't have to change a lot. You were just playing yourself, and I can see that now too. You, you're just a really bright person overall. <laughs> um, Steven, when I watched the film, the whole atmosphere in the room changed. The colors were a bit darker. The tone was a bit soberer overall. How did all the elements like the music and the lights and the locations come together? Well, it's a long process and you're working with so many people like the cinematographer and uh, the post, the production designer. And um, well, you try to um, let it all come together and to think about every uh, detail very uh, precisely. And that was done amazing. Thank you so much, Sonny, Josephine, and Steven, and I'll see you later. Thank you for being here. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. We had a lot of questions come in from all over Europe. Thank you all for being so active and interested and so amazing at doing this. The bars took the final votes in. We're going to have a look at the votes. Film C and film B have drawn it very close. Film C only has 34 more votes than film B. Let's find out who the winner is. The winner of the 2020 IFA Young Audience Award is... My Brother Chases Dinosaurs by Stefano Cipani! Family of Here is the director of the winning film. The stage is yours. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. Uh, I mean, I, I want to thank so many people for for this film, I want to thank my producer, Paco Cinematografica, Eagle Picture Distribution, Antonio Nava. I mean, I want to thank the family of Giacomo, who is incredible, and Giacomo also, who's very, very a great character, and I think his future is very bright 
I love him. Uh, I want to really thank all my cast. I want to thank Joe. Really, really thank you. I'm so excited. Thank you to EFA, to EFA Young Audience Award, to the director, to everybody. I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm so excited. Um, thank you. Uh, please ask me some more questions, Ivana. Let me speak. <laughs> It's awesome. Okay. Let's have one final thing. Um, we need to hand over the prize to the winner. Winner, Marion, toss the prize over here. <laughs> yeah, I would like to <laughs> throw it into your house, but unfortunately yeah. it's not possible. We will send it to you. Congratulations from the bottom of our hearts. And uh, we wish a big, big career for your film. It's very important to tell the story. And, um, but we will see you, hopefully, uh, in December, on the 12th of December, when we have the uh, European Film Awards ceremony in Reykjavik. We will uh, invite you to come there, to join us all, and to celebrate with us. Today, it's a very uh, low sum uh, uh, sofa party that you have to, to have to organize for yourself. But in December, we will celebrate you with a lot of people. It will be amazing. Let's Thank you take so a much. group picture right now. Oh, sorry. Let's take a group picture right now. Look into the camera on your computer screen, screen and smile after one. Three, two, one. Cheese. <laughs> Is a picture being taken? Okay, let's try once more. <laughs> Three, two. One cheese. <laughs> okay, the camera isn't working. Ah, oh, okay. there it is. <laughs> Let's try Thank once you. more to have a good picture. I'm so sorry. Three, <laughs> <more>. two, one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's fine. We got the photo. I heard in Erfurt they're saying the photo is fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we have one more thing to say. Marion, to you, this was the last Young Audience Award with you because you're retiring this year. You were the, the director of the European Film Academy. I wanted to say on behalf of the whole team and thousands of teenagers along Europe, Thank you for making this award and thank you for giving teenagers the chance to step into the film world. This deserves an applause, even if it's virtually. Family applause! <laughs> thank you so much, Mario. We really appreciate thank you. it with the whole of my heart. Okay. Bye, Marion and Stefano. Stefano, enjoy your evening. Congratulations once more. Oh and Marion, we'll see each other again. Yes. Thank you to Bye. everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, European film lovers. This was the exceptional 2020 EFA Young Audience Award Edition. We have three incredible films. This year, we need to continue watching, making, and adoring movies. Stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you in 2021. Hopefully with live audience in cinemas across Europe. <laughs>